I'm in. Yay! I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> wow, that took a long time. I don't know what that error was. Look at all the hearts. We're getting hearts already. Yay! Thank you guys so much. I can't believe. Okay, Instagram Live is very special. So, disclaimer, <laughs> disclaimer. If somehow, if if Sailor Tortilla or I disappear, please don't go. Come back, cause I'm gonna keep trying to come back in here. Okay. Okay, girl. I've literally never had that error before, so I'm usually yeah. really. Look at the heart. God. Ah, hello, beautiful people. So, okay, welcome to movie hour with your girl. Bella. We're basically. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, it's not like a very formal thing. It's like a, it's like a chit chat about the movie Sailor Moon. Um. Oh my God. Promise of the Rose. Sorry. And. So for my movie hours, that includes movie snacks. And for me, I love me some popcorn. That's the classic, it's the classic thing. So I have my smart food. I have my smart food popcorn. I got popcorn too! Oh, yes. It's the classic. And then I also have these because these remind me of being in a theater. And since that's not a thing nowadays, at least not in my city. Girl, give me that. <laughs> Give me that. They're my favorite. I love Crunch Bunch. I like to mix the Crunch Bunch in the popcorn sometimes. And that's how I like it. So. Well, <laughs> my treat is Coke. I and love pop. it. You have Coke and a smile. I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mar is in here. How, hi, how are you? What up? We got moon people. We got human people. Yes. So many hearts. That's so awesome. So, I wanted to start off by talking about my brief history with Sailor Moon. Ooh. Yes. I used to watch Sailor Moon as a kid. I used to watch it on Cartoon Network. And so they used to run like the same four seasons over and over. And as soon as season four ended, I would watch the pilot in season one. And then after it disappeared from Cartoon Network, it disappeared from my life. So I never yeah. had season five. Girl, that was a licensing problem. So like Cartoon Network and all the companies lost the license for like, I want to say 10, 10 ish years. It was a really long time. We had no Sailor Moon forever. Yeah, evidently. Cause it just disappeared. Oh, Cynthia said Sailor Moon at 7 a.m. before going to school. Yes, I actually used to watch it after school. I think at 4 p.m. or 3.30. No, during no. middle. Right, it was on UPN in the morning. But I saw it after school. I'm yeah, it sure. was, so UPN was syndicating it, USA was syndicating it, Fox was the first one to syndicate it, and then finally, Cartoon Network got it. Oh, all right, so I was a little bit late to the game. All right. I, I mean, was obsessed. I used to have, uh, I had the poster, I had the cards, but then when it went off the air, so like it kind of disappeared from my life, so. Mm -hmm. I was like, I was like a Mooney for like a short period of time and then disappeared from my life. And I did used to um, watch the movies. I seen the three movies. And if memory serves correctly, the one that always stood out to me was The Promise of the Rose. Cause it's just so pretty and colorful. So I wanted to talk to you guys about that today. And I think that's a lot of people's favorites, right? It's my favorite. It's my personal favorite. A lot of, I saw some people in the comments haven't actually seen it. I oh. highly recommend it. Oh, that surprises me that people haven't seen it. I wanted to talk about right off the bat, because it has been a long time that I've seen the movie. It's probably like, maybe like a decade plus. It's something, I think if you're an average movie watcher and, and you're wanting to get into anime, this movie, I think, maybe not be the best introduction only because it doesn't act as a standalone. It's more like a fan service, which is completely fine if you're already a fan of the of the fandom of the things Sailor Moon, you know, because it's it's just more content. It's, it's amazing. But I found myself, wait, like, what is the significance between, you know, her and, okay, I call him Darian, but I know it's like sacrilege. I know, <laughs> but I... I watched it on Cartoon Network. Please forgive me. Don't at me. That's what I call him. I know that it's Mamo, right? It's Mamo. Yeah. yeah. Mamoru. What is the relationship like? What is the 
significance of that and also like how close are the girls to each other you find that out like later on in the movie but it's not till like later on that you find that out and then what's up with the talking cats like what are these powers exactly so it's not like an introduction but i think it is like a nice gift to the fans would you agree with the standalone yeah i wouldn't recommend this to someone who hasn't seen sailor moon they'd be super confused um and yeah the yeah. friendship at the end of the movie is like a core like thematic part of the film it's about friendship not just love friendship but like friendship friendship for sure and that's what i really liked about it i think for me what stands out is the story itself i love how it's talking about something really universal and that's loneliness and i think the feeling of being ostracized and feeling like nobody understands you like no one's ever gonna love me again. Who am I gonna find? You know, like friendships or like in a romantic partner. And I love how, you know, like towards the end of the movie where we're like jumping ahead here, but it's, it's a chit chat. Um, we're, <laughs> we're seeing in still each girl's mind about how Sailor Moon kind of like came into their lives and, you know, helped them feel like they had a friend and helped them feel. So I really liked that. And I really liked Fiore's arc where he starts off really kind of sad and a little bit evil. But then towards the end, he realizes like, wait, but like, it's because of her that he was able to feel open and have friends again. So everyone's saying hi, hi guys. Oh my so, God, that's nice. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, I recognize, I love it. Ooh, someone said this is more cooler than the Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> I love it. So, I just want a lot of people just joined. Welcome. We're talking about Welcome. Are talking Ooh. about comics. We're having some coke, some popcorn, I and have some lunch. lunch. That. I haven't started eating it yet. Let me open it. It's already cold. <laughs> I'm going to be talking and eating at the same time. This is so unladylike, but it's ah. live. It's IG live. When I talk, yeah. you. When you talk, I eat. That's how we'll figure it out. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. Um, so, another thing that I took note of, I did take notes because I am a movie nerd and I actually wrote it on an envelope because I guess I don't have to. Um, I wrote Be down Power Rangers scene. Huh? What did you watch? What time? Hmm. Which dub? I watched the one that is on Crunchyroll. Mm. Okay. Yeah. That's I'm not sure exactly what the name of it is, though. It's by this media, and it is the current cast. Okay. Oh, the cast. I, <clears throat> my God, I'm going to choke. Hold on. <clears throat> Don't die. I'm sorry, sorry. I thought that the voice acting was good. I liked it. Mm. I thought of that. I thought it was good. I do... I did notice, my god, my mouth and the popcorn, okay, I did notice that some <laughs> of the animation, while it was vibrant and it was pretty, I think sometimes in the movement, there's a lot to be improved there, perhaps, like in a remaster, only because I noticed, like, there's a time where she's, like, walking on the pink um, pedals, and you don't see, like, the pedals actually, like, moved and, like, being pressed on, and that was really <laughs> noticeable. Yeah, that's something that I think you would kind of expect in modern anime. Remember this film? Mm -hmm. I can only remember the actual release date, but I'm pretty sure it was like 94. Yeah, 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 for sure. Or even, uh, I'm definitely not too, but like, it's old, girl. Yeah, it's a 90s thing. Um, but besides the lack of the movement, the, I think the animation was pretty, it's vibrant. What do you think about the voice acting? Oh, girl. Open the camera. I feel like all the versions, and I have not, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. So, we have the old dub that you probably saw on Cartoon Network, and yeah. dub, which is more accurate, and they, the movie is uncut. Um, change the content of it. It's pretty open about what it's about. Um, my opinion is... <sighs> <laughs> we were going to ask for this. They're coming at me. Oh um, my god, they're gonna have you. Okay, get ready, get ready. I appreciate that the new dub is accurate. However, I feel like the actors were acting better in the original dub. There was more feeling to it. There's a moment where Sailor Moon, um, Fiore says, you know, you have to fight me and whatever. Yep. 
and her friends are all they're they're all in like a tree. They're all wrapped around. He's about to yeah. kill her. Um, yeah. And in the original dub, she drops the cutie moon rod, which is this wand here. <laughs> she drops, it and yeah. Wiped. The voice actor added never, and then says the line about you know I want to save my friends. In the original, they didn't say that, and I yeah. I like flavor. And you know I like I get it. Yeah. I get it. I know why the new one exists. I just think the actors were better in the original. Even with all the terrible, like, changes they made. They were horrible changes, but the actors, man, so good. Okay. All right. So I have to see, I have to rewatch the original because it's been, like, over 10 years since I've seen it. Yeah. I also had, I had written down Power Rangers scene because oh. that, scene, that scene where they are teleporting in that bubble sphere from Earth to the planet, it totally reminds me of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, where you see them teleport from one planet to the other. So I immediately thought of, oh, this is the Power Rangers. And I was obsessed with the Power Rangers too. Yeah, they used to teleport to the command center. I also love Power Rangers. Sailor Moon was like, there was a huge inspiration by the Super Sentai shows, where they're like a team, right? Like that's how they team. And I see some comments that are like, do I only like the original dub because of nostalgia? Ooh, my makeup's messed up. Um, no, it's not nostalgia. I actually think the acting was better. <laughs> like, that is my genuine opinion. You heard her. She Let's said it. Like Power Rangers for girls. Power Rangers is for girls? No, they said it's like Power Rangers for girls. Oh, yes. I really appreciate stories about female friendship. I realize that. Like, um, you know, there's an element to that in certain movies and shows that I've seen that I always like gravitate towards. So I think that's something that really pulled me into watching Sailor Moon in the first place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You so know, I aspect, bring it on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bring it on has, yes, bring it on has that. And tell me if anybody has ever seen that movie growing up called Aquamarine. That movie is all about people. Oh. Yeah, the mermaid movie. Yes, yes. It's just after my time, but... Hi, Belinda. I know, I'm here like waving, like I see everybody. So many people. Yes, it was Aquamarine. There is, I just finished watching this show that aired on Hulu last year called Dollface. I think that has some awesome female friendship stories in there. So yes, I love like female friendship stories more, more please, I love it. I gotta watch that. Someone's asking if we're going to save the live for later watching. Ooh. Yes. IGTV. <laughs> IGTV. IGTV. <It's> okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> want it on IGTV? Yes. IGTV. And then we'll share it later because yeah. they said where they live. I see people. Oh, yeah. Ooh, how late is it over there? Sorry, where? I'm trying to read these. It's 23. I talk and read at the same time, so I want to see. What are they saying? They have so much fun in the original dub. You have so, huh? You have so many notes. Read me your notes. Oh my god, yeah, okay. Actually, I don't have that many. Let me see. Oh, I wrote, how did Tuxedo Mask know? Again, like, how does he know exactly when they're in trouble for him to, like, go at the right time? It's like, what's the explanation oh. of their power? You know what I mean? Oh, when he was in the crystal and he was trying to yeah, get out. Exactly. Sweet yeah. This person's in Sweden. Oh, pretty am. I'm amazing. <laughs> Hello. How is Sweden? Is it cold already? Hi. Or is it hot? I don't know how weather works, apparently. What is how works? How did he know? He didn't. Plot. Plot. The script said so. Maybe he could feel Plot. it. Bones. Okay. I took note also of a weird, I think a weird music choice when it was when Fiore literally grabs her at the chest, like all up on her boobs. And yeah. she's in pain and it looks painful. And then there's like this weird like rock music that starts playing. I'm like, this is so misplaced. This is a this is a really painful moment. Why is there rock I, playing I right now? See what you're talking about? And I think it was like Tuxedo Mask's theme in that movie. Look, someone says he has Tuxy sense. <laughs> um Okay. Yeah, I know exactly. It was tense rock music. Yeah. I 
And the thing is, Sailor Moon in general, I think the soundtrack is very good. Yes. Oh, I have, but I have a, I have a bit of a tip with the ending song. <gasps> if it's one thing I do remember. You have a problem with Moon Revenge? I have a problem with not hearing the song that I grew up with. <laughs> See, you like the old dub. You just don't know it. <laughs> so, because That's I think, well, uh, how does it go again? The Power of Love. Yeah. That would have fit so much better because she's using love to save her friends and her boyfriend. I well, love fun fact, that's yeah. recycled from the TV show. It's what? It's recycled from the TV show. It plays during a, a different fight with a different character. And then when they make the dub, I guess they didn't want to record an English version of Moon Revenge, so they said, well, we got this one, and we can just use it in. Um, yeah. the, the girl from Sweden said the American song is actually catchy. Yes, it is. I was waiting for it, and then, and then it never came. I was shook. I'll be real with you. I saw Sailor Moon R in the movie theater within like the last three years. Yeah. And one of those Fathom events, and a bunch of fans were there. And I'm pretty yeah. sure comments went too. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw the subbed version. And, well, actually, no, now the sub and the dub have the same song. I'm confused because before it was different. But when the song came on, I'm looking around at the other movies. They're all wearing like wigs and stuff. And I'm like, okay, here it comes. And it's like, it's me, revenge. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. And I was the only person, like an idiot, you know. Oh, ah, are you like, saying? People you know were know the old song and not the new song. I got mad, so I had to shut up because apparently I was. I want to know, you guys like the new song or the old song more? Which one do you guys like? The original Japanese song. The original, is that the one that I'm talking about? But it's in English, like the American. No, no, no. you're thinking The Power of Love. Yes. The the one for you is new is yeah. Japanese. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So do you guys like the original Japanese version or do you like the American? Power of Love song. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Look, someone said old song. Someone said Moon Revenge. Moon Revenge, man. Someone said the original again. Old but songs. Moon Bro, Re they're on my team. No, I think they mean Moon Revenge. No, oh, no. the original. You guys, you have to understand, the original for me in my head is the love song that I like, but okay, I, get it. I get it. English or Japanese? English. Okay, that's that's a better choice. Do you, do you like the English or the Japanese version? I'm just reading the comments. Oh, the I feel like I win though because I know both of them. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I'll just say, just like at the movie theater where people were telling me to shut up. Oh, someone said English. Shout out to to Krell Zool. Some people are saying both. Dominic said Japanese. Original, original, original. Yeah. Okay, fine. You guys can like what you like. This is a this is power of love. I'm, I'm full of love. I we're understand gonna, why you like it. We're gonna gang up after this live feed. I'll bring my people. You bring yours. <laughs> we'll all wear masks. Yes. That's physical. <laughs> so those are actually most of the things that I wanted to say. Um, Ooh. I think build some really great empathy for Fiore because I, because like I said, I like how they show, because he really has, it, it kind of pulled on my heartstrings, like he has such a really lonely, terrible story, like imagine being in space, in the bubble, just floating through time by yourself, of course, like after ha having, you know, your friend being taken away from you and you're taken away from it, if you're, you're going to build up this, this um, resentment and sadness. And that kind of really resonated. So I really enjoyed the story. Good, I'm glad. I like relatable villains. Also, someone's in Austria. We're sending us big hugs. Oh my goodness. Oh my yeah. God, what's up, Austria? Fiore, you know, that that race of aliens had appeared in the TV show prior. And they didn't yes. explore Yeah, they didn't explore it like they do with Fiore. It was slightly- Sister, right? They were- 
I don't want to say they're brother and sister, but they were born from this magic tree. You know, this, yeah. this tree. Um, whether or not things, I don't know. I guess they're like plant people. Um, and they were just kind of like, well, we don't know a better way of life, so we're going to be evil. That's kind of what happened with them. And then they realized that love could, you know, surpass whatever and feed the tree and give themselves. And yes, I'm talking about alien and um, in England. And, yeah. Um, and those guys, they learned that the power of love was was good, but they didn't yeah. like they, they didn't take the loneliness angle because they were together. They weren't alone. Mm-hmm. The true. True. Can you can you only know one person, and then they forget about you? It's insane that he actually didn't go completely insane like prior, like prior to meeting Mama Ru. Um, I, my house. <laughs> yeah. Um. What else? What else? You guys, I have to finish the show one day. I want to see season five. What the heck? <laughs> I just got it on Blu-ray. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh, somebody t- love the loneliness angle for Fiore. Yes, me too. For sure. I like. It. He had a great arc. I liked it, his story. The only villain in that movie that wasn't relatable was um, the Kessian flower. Or Kessian. Kessian. I always forget how to pronounce it, even though they say it like a bunch of times in the movie. Today it's here like, in Australia, Sailor Moon 90s comes for the first time in years on free TV here. Four episodes. Woo! Good for you. You're getting a warning. It's season five is intense. It is. It's so good. I honestly feel like I have to rewatch probably at least season four to kind of. Mm-hmm get some me- in there. Season I do four. know that that's the Pegasus season. Yeah. It's not I the very possible. best. Pegasus it's one, not- and that's one I would watch before the Lost. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple I- episodes at the beginning. This is starting season five conversation, but there's about five episodes at the beginning five that close the story of season four because what you saw the end remember is not the real mm-hmm. ending it's not the real ending the, the, that lady uh-huh. comes Nehele. the evil lady with the four meatballs <laughs> the black hair oh she comes wow. back in five for like oh it's like five episodes yeah, I guess not a lot of people like season four, according to these comments. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, you know what happened was, um, the show was focused on the like, kind of like core Sailor Scouts. Oh God, I said Scouts. Sailor Senshi. Oh my a- God, I would say Sailor Scouts. That would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, focused on them for a good while. And then season three introduced these brand new characters who were super powerful and everyone was really excited, really hyped up for these new characters. Mm-hmm. Season four was like... Oh shoot, <laughs> someone said season four is so incredibly rapey. Dang. Oh, it is rapey. Oh, so that's a thing that I only realized this year <laughs> that comic for Drew. Um, I was watching it on DVD or on Hulu or whatever. And mm-hmm. girl, I did not realize this stuff when I was a teenager, but it, it, I think they're, I think they're talking about rape. I, <laughs> like, oh my God. Who was talking about rape? It wasn't even talking about rape. Like there's three villains at the beginning of the show who are all male and they are searching for the Pegasus. So they kidnap people and they want to look at their, their inner dream and their heart. Um, mm-hmm. and it is portrayed like a sexual assault. Oh my god. They get like. No, I don't want to watch season four, guys. Huh? I don't want to see season four. There's rape stuff. I don't know about that. Maybe I'll be As an adult? Five. Maybe I'll just do that. I'll show you a clip when we're done with this, and then you'll kind of see if you want to watch it or not. But it's what? Season five. Okay. At, you don't need that season. Yeah, she's saying it's unsettling, disturbing how Chibiusa is the main character while they sexualize the violence. Ooh, totally with the way they invade their chest to their dreams. It's so uncomfortable. Jeez. Okay, so I have to explain because that—that's—that's that's literally what it. 
they take they their head, head. they yeah. stick it in their chest mm -hmm. to see their dreams. They they take their wait, say it again. Like here's a per all right, this is the person. Yeah. <laughs> Here they are, they're like, oh no, don't invade my dreams. And then like here's like the rest of their body. Yeah. The dudes just like they just do this, man. They <laughs> just they stick their heads and they're like, no, that Pegasus isn't in here. And then oh, this okay. That's that a little weird for me. Well, <laughs> Okay, well then, do you guys recommend that I just watch? Well, yeah, Cynthia said, yeah, that's assault. Yeah, a hundred percent. So uh, then, could I just watch season five without seeing season four then? Yeah, what why not? Have? Okay. A little bit, and then the real plot starts, and the plot is good. There's a new love interest for Usagi. What? <laughs> Tuxedo mask dips for the entire season. How is that a spoiler? He's just I not in know. it. Because He's just not in it. I assume that they're like together, it's destiny and all that. You know what I mean? Spoiler would be if I told you why. Oh my god, does he die? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Say nothing. Say nothing. Uh, uh, you guys don't say anything in the comments. I just completely forgot about the comments. Hmm? Oh, look, Cynthia's like, excuse me, how dare he leave? You see? I'm not the only one. No, there's people who really like Usagi and Maru, and that's fine. I mean, canon. Ever. <laughs> it's canon. Oh my god. You know what also struck me about the movie is that it's so short. It's only an hour. I wish it was. I wish it was longer. I wish yeah. it was a half hour. You know what I like? You know that opening when they're in the, like, the... I want to say like Home Depot garden aisle. <laughs> I like that part. That's fun. I like the slice of life stuff because the movie, it picks up real quick. They're there for like five yeah. minutes and then Fiore is like flowers. Ow, I just yeah. right in the face. Oh, um. <laughs> look, that's my lip. <laughs> this is why I don't wear makeup, honestly. This yeah, no, I don't wear it when I'm going to be in front of the camera. So be real with you, girl. But yeah, the, the movie, movie is like yes. a longer intro, and maybe like a after, like after the action. Um, you know, like at the end, she like dies, she gets revived, and then they're still on the meteor. And then Chibiu says, "Like Usagi is everyone's mother." <laughs> Do you remember that? That was yes. Like, it feels like a random again like the, the the relationship not really like established enough maybe it could have been longer if they took the time to do that somebody said i love how queer the r movie is you know yeah actually, growing up i remember it was more of like a best friend vibe with fiore and mamo and then in this one it's very clearly like fiore like he was in love with him like he had a crush so oh, that was different for me. absolutely a love story like, Fiori was in love with Mamoru, and the, that's the problem with the original dub. The original dub is extremely, like, conservative. They're just like, no, we, we can't have LGBT characters at all. It was the 90s. It was a different time. And I wish they had made different yeah. choices. But that's fine. We got a new dub. It was it was totally it was totally a romance. And then someone's like, does the movie work without Chibiusa? Yes. Yes. I don't need Chibiusa. I'm, I'm good. I'm good on Chibiusa. Oh, no. Well, this frozen. Oh. I see you, but... Frozen. Am I frozen? I can hear you again. I can hear you. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay. Today. Bye for you. Hey today. Guys, I'm so sorry about the technical difficulties, but you know, technology sometimes goes on the fritz. It gave me issues too. Huh? It gave me issues too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Thank you to everyone who's joining us again. If yeah. your first time joining. Hey guys. That, you know, yeah. technology. We were talking Sailor Moon R and how it was gay as fuck and I love it. <laughs> yes. Um. So this is part two of Movie Hour with Mel. Today the 20th. Talking about Promise of the Rose. We were leaving off of realizing what was, how. Huh? huh? What was the Promise of the Rose? 
What did they promise? He promised to come back or like to always be friends with him. No, it was for him to bring him a flower just as nice as the one he gave him. That's right. Oh yeah, in the movie he says, no one's gonna keep me from um, keeping my promise, right? Mm-hmm, something yeah. like that. I mean, I don't, I don't remember the exact wording, but I do remember he was supposed to bring the flower and that's why he found the Cassinian flower. And I mean, if someone brought me the Cassinian flower, it was like a little topless lady, I'd be really impressed. Yeah. yeah, yes. But according to the cats, it's like known to be kind of like an evil flower, right? Yeah, the cats know. The cats know everything. They're like Google. Yeah. I think that like I, I was like sh like I saw Artemis using a computer. I'm like, if I didn't know anything about Sailor Moon, I'd be like, what the f am I watching? With his little paws, little paws on the keyboard. What am I watching? <laughs> Let me see the comments. Yeah, that's why I broke him quickly when Tosito used her flower against oh. me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was just really psychologically fucked. He had no friends! I know, that really messed him up. What so, so do you reach in? out? Check up on your people. Check on your strong friends. That's the lesson. Oh, oh, there's a lesson? Man, I was like, always be nice to people who like, people talk shit about, maybe, I don't know. And don't, Cynthia said Luna is a queen. I love Luna. Like, I love that name because of that cat. Um, the lesson also for me is, don't go around judging people because Fiore did judge them saying you all have no idea what it's like to be lonely. And meanwhile, yeah. we go back in time to see how each of them have felt ostracized before. Mm -hmm. You know, like if it seems like really popular or smart or they're always busy, you have no idea that sometimes they can feel misunderstood and lonely as well. Mm -hmm. So don't go around, you know, don't go around judging people. That's what I took from it. So that's why I think it has like a good story. That or check on your alien friends. Check on your alien. <laughs> That's very important to you guys. You guys are the best. This sounds pretty good. Hello, Glitter. Yes, go watch it. New catchphrase, the cats are Google. <laughs> the cats are Google. Melissa, how do you think the R movie compares to like a regular animated movie? Like, like okay. There's so many animated movies out there. But like, the movie, you know, like Doug the movie, Rugrats the movie, This is Sailor Moon the movie. Oh, okay. Um, hmm, I think it does, I think, I'll say this, I think it does, even though for me, I know like it's in the 90s, I feel like the animation could be better still, just saying, don't add me. I do like the story. And I think it has room to improve with establishing the relationships. Because for me, I think with whatever movie you're putting out there, you're gonna want to hopefully obtain some new fans and not just make things for people who are already fans. So I think that's why you wanna be able to work on the story to establish the relationships a little bit more. That's a really good I think most anime, like Japanese mm -hmm. media, they assume you're already a fan, everything's a sequel. Um, yeah. Which is that it means that there's lots of stuff to watch. But I, get, I think they could have spent a little, little more time establishing some stuff. I, I'm telling you, like an extra half hour would have just been great. Do you remember at the beginning of the film, it starts with a sequence where all the Sailor Senshi are just standing there? You know, they're just standing. Yeah. And she's like, I'm old, I'm a superhero, in case you didn't know. That's that's what they tried to do. They were trying to yeah, tell you. <laughs> Didn't work that C Jack Crunchy. Yeah, I agree. It's not funny. Mm -hmm. I wish we had almost you you Tina movie. I don't know that one. Maybe Sailor Tortilla does. Ew. Um th that CGI looked so much better. <laughs> the, remaster, these people that the version that you watched is the remastered. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's it the most does beautiful look pretty Sailor Moon yeah. 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 Gorgeous. I did take note of that. Melissa, thoughts on Chibi? Chibi Usa, right? I thought she was kind of pointless in the movie. Yeah, she is. Sailor Moon, it's mom. <laughs> hey. Those are my thoughts.
thoughts on her. Um, I know it's our movie, your guys' favorite, out of the stadium. Uh, for me, I think it is. Although I haven't seen the other two that I grew up with in a really long time. Although, spoiler for the ending of this live, that's something that we may bring up again, maybe. We'll see. We're doing Okay, okay, spoiler. Yeah, okay. I was going to ask you guys if you guys would want me and Sailor Tortilla to do another live in the future about the other Sailor Moon movies from the past, from the 90s. I know there's like the children dream kidnapping one, and then there's the Luna the Human one. Yeah, so the Luna the Human one is the one that comes after this, and then it's the one kidnapping children in a boat. So weird. The plot of these movies. Oh, oh, Cynthia said yes. Yeah. Would like us to do another live in the future. Let us know. They're letting. Let's do it. it. Let's put the movie on right now. (laughs) We're gonna twitch. Just commentary on that shit. Oh, mm-hmm. someone said that'd be fun. I personally, mm-hmm. someone said, of course. So I think Sailor Tortilla, you should put a poll. Of, oh, I guess we should do it in order, though. So no poll, because I was going to say do a poll of which movie we should do. I'll but, be real. I wouldn't mind skipping the second one. That's the one with Luna, right? With the Yeah. I, okay, so, well, I guess then, okay, fine. Fine, then do the poll, and then we'll let the people decide which one we should do next. Because we can do the third one and then the second one. I just think that the third one is more action-packed. However, the second one is, I know, people are like, ah, poor S movie. The S movie, I would not say is about film. It's just, it's an inside movie. It's an inside your heart movie. It's about feelings, not about fighting. Yeah. Feelings, not right. fighting. <laughs> if I make like a bootleg Sailor Moon cartoon, that's gonna be her speech. Instead of like, I am the warrior of justice, she's just gonna be like, feelings not fighting. <laughs> the S movie is slightly dull to me, but <laughs> eh? someone's what? excited would have to watch for your live to remember details. Yes, the, do that. I definitely we should we should all we did watch it that for this. Live. I think all 23 people in this room should just go on whatever platform it is and watch the other yes. movies. That's what we thought. Oh, look, watching it as an adult, they like it better. Yeah, I've never seen the movie as an adult. I don't like admitting that, but it's true. Oh no, Melissa, I can't hear you I can't anymore. See the Melissa. Oh my gosh. She is more neutral. What's happening? That's the universe telling us, stop. Hear me. Yeah. I say, if you guys can hear me, <laughs> I think there's just a lag, though. There's a super lag. And it, Instagram Live didn't want to let us go live on my account. We can work around that if you, because as long as you can hear my voice, that's what's most important. That is. We, we can work around the lag. We can just put a filter on. Um, so- I'll take this as a sign that we'll wrap up for now. And I just wanted to let you guys know Wait. that, um, no. <laughs> what, if, what, what'd you say? <laughs> I can hear you guys fine. Cynthia, I can hear us. <sighs> I can't connect to Instagram. Uh, okay, you got, okay. This is going on the first. I'm gonna try to wrap it up really quick because Instagram Live, the way it's set up, I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, so I have it up. Uh, Are no, together. We're together now. It's working now. Yeah, but we don't know for how long. We, we got f- <laughs> That's my We got four minutes. I don't trust. <laughs> I don't trust Instagram Live. And plus, isn't it like almost, isn't it like eight o'clock? It's like an hour already. Ah, oh, amazing. It's late. Huh? We started late. <laughs> See, someone, someone said y'all are glitching. I think. I think that's a sign, guys. Don't worry. We're going to do more lives. <laughs> All of the part. I it's love happening. this. Okay. We're going to go. We're going to be back. <laughs> yeah. But before, oh, before we go, uh, we should live. YouTube live. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not on YouTube yet, guys. It's got to be IG for now. What about Facebook? <laughs> Movie Hour with Mel is on IG. 
Speaking of IG, so I have an IG video on IGTV coming out every week. I'm going to be doing lives every Friday with another special amazing guest every single week. And then I also have my fun games and quizzes and polls that I always do in my stories during my highlights right now. And I have my virtual movie club. Guys, it's a Facebook group. You could join, you click the link in my bio. So every, I think, well, we haven't established that, but we always... I always leave the movie choices to the club members. I put a list of movies up and then, actually, I'm gonna check for the next meeting. This is a spoiler. Y'all are getting the exclusive, but the third meeting is gonna be a lot more interactive. I'm gonna let the club members choose what movies that people get to choose for based on the theme that I pick. It's more exciting and more interactive. So, you know, who knows what the will be for next meeting maybe it'll be murder mystery maybe it'll be action movies maybe it'll be comedies maybe it'll be anime maybe it'll be foreign films who knows i don't know yet but i'm excited i'm excited this week and <laughs> um um we already have our, our second meeting established we're doing it on the 12th and the theme is high school movies and we are discussing bring it on and I have some special content coming out for that either this weekend or next week for the virtual meeting. I'm not sure yet. So you guys should make sure to follow me to keep up with that. So yeah, lots of fun, lots of stuff going on. And Sailor Tortilla will put the poll up on her Instagrams to let us know which movie that you guys want us to watch. And then we'll talk about it on a future live. I'm so excited. All right. Bye, everybody. All right. Bye, guys. Ooh, goodbye. Bye.